it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Sunday, July 7th. Okay, so we have the moon in Leo energy. We just shifted into this Leo energy late last evening, literally four minutes left in the day. The moon shifted into Leo energy, really helping us to kind of shift our mood, shift our perspective, shift our attitude into being a little bit more bold and brave and courageous than we have been as of recent days in order for us to make the changes that we know that we need to make. Again, feeding off of the new moon in Cancer that we just had on the 5th. Yes, we're still feeling hypersensitive. Yes, we're a little bit vulnerable, but we're pivoting out of focusing on the past and we're pivoting into realizing what we want to build into our future. The moon in Leo connects us to the heart space, to the soul space, definitely putting us in a more positive, more confident type of disposition and demeanor in order for us to explore the new emotions, the new insights that we have been downloaded with since that new moon in Cancer popped off. So with that being said, we have a very interesting day here of emotional stability. Again, Leo energy, a fixed fire sign, fixed energy allows us a time to have a little bit of a break to stabilize in the ever-changing landscape of our emotions. The fire energy puts a pep back in our step, again, really lending us a lot of the qualities and characteristics that we've been lacking as of late, but we are definitely going to be making some very profound aha moments as we move through the day here on what we have to do, what we have to pursue from here. So there are nine different aspects taking place here today. Seven of them are going to involve the moon. Before we get into any moon aspects, we have a little bit of a tough interaction kind of kicking off the day. This is between Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, and this Cancer energy, very raw, very vulnerable, very sensitive in our emotional realm, especially where the perspective of relationships are concerned, because again, many relationships popped off as we entered into the solstice gateway here in Cancer season. Venus is semi-squaring, so creating a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who of course is in the Gemini energy, pressing us to open up our minds, really pressurizing us to just kind of grasp a different goal, different vision for the future. Yes, that Gemini energy is very competitive because there's two different options, different paths, different directions, different choice points popping off here. Very dualistic, very extreme in nature. Jupiter magnifies whatever it is that's going on and a semi-square is creating tension and conflict in order for us to truly explore our emotional realm where we feel raw, where we feel vulnerable, where we're feeling fear and doubts and insecurities. We have to turn the volume all the way up on these particular wounds in order for us to dissect why it is that we have them, what we could do differently in order to heal them, in order for us to gain perspective on what needs to happen, especially with us being a little bit more expressive with our thoughts, our emotions, especially with those that need to hear it and be aware of it. And especially where some relationship dynamics have popped off as of late. The moon now in this Leo energy going to come into a direct opposition with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who is retrograde in Aquarius energy. The Leo and Aquarius energy sit across each other in the zodiac wheel. Pluto, of course, takes us on an intense trip down memory lane, if you will, to examine the psyche to examine the parts within us that are currently in a power struggle. Our heart versus our head, our inner realm versus our outer realm, the old version of self versus the new version of self, our ego self versus the higher self. Where can we make some changes? Where can we make some improvements? Where can we make some transformations in the way that we see ourselves and the world around us and therefore have a domino effect of changing the emotions that we're currently holding while kind of reviewing some tough love life lessons. Of course, this is going to intensify our emotions. We have to understand where it is that for the most part, 
many of us have been altering who it is that we are in order to fit in, in order to be accepted. The goal here is to now lean towards being unique, being our own individual selves, even if it means kind of dancing to the beat of our own drum. This is going to put us in a situation to really examine where it is that we aren't feeling as bold and brave and confident as we need right now and what it is that we can do in our inner narrative in order to flip the script, put us in a situation to feel more empowered to make the changes that we know that we need to make. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, who's in this Taurus energy, a fixed earth sign, taking a very low, slow, steady approach in our physical realms to what needs to change, what needs to transform based off of what we're changing and transforming in our inner realm. This is where the boldness, the bravery, the courage that the Leo energy often lends us comes out to play. We are tapping into our warrior type of mood and attitude. We are inspired. We are motivated. We are semi excited to actually see things change, to see things get better, to see ourselves actually enjoy life again. As unfathomable as that may be, it is very possible. And we are leaning more and more into really creating a space, a realm, a reality that not only looks good, but that feels good as well. We have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in this Leo energy already, making a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. So I love this because... Uranus rules over the highest form of our intellect. It's the part of our, let's call it super brain, that connects to the higher realms of intelligence. This is where we get an epiphany, where we get an aha moment, where we get those light bulbs kind of flashing in order for us to see things from a different set of eyes, for us to gain a greater, grander vision on what it is that we need to do, what it is that we need to pursue, where it is that we have to pivot in our perspective, in our energy, in our efforts. Well, Mercury, on the other hand, rules over the lower level of our intellect that our ego self depends upon. Again, kind of taking information and details in from our exterior realm, this materialistic realm, and forms a thought, an opinion, an idea based off of our physical circumstances. We love when Mercury and Uranus are working together because it means that we're having some profound insights, some profound ideas that we can 100% make sense of in this present moment in the here and now. We can apply logic and practicality to some of the ideas that are coming in. We can give it structure. We can, again, feel where it is that we're being called to do and pursue certain paths, certain tasks, certain chores, if you will, certain projects that are heart aligned, pushing us into alignment with our higher selves over our ego selves and pushing us out of the stagnancy of the present moment in the here and now and putting us in a situation where we can improve and do better and kind of create, again, a better situation, a better circumstance for us to be living in. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Saturn. So again, just when we're kind of getting started here, we're going to kind of step back. Just when we're feeling excited, we're going to start talking ourselves out of that excitement. Just when we are kind of dreaming the biggest dream available to us at this particular juncture, suddenly we are going to speak a little bit of fear, a little bit of a negative narrative into all that we just got excited about. Now, Saturn... Yes, he's retrograde. Yes, he's in this Pisces energy. Yes, he's challenging us to have better boundaries, to kind of have a deeper discipline, to have more willpower, to build something new in our lives. But right now, the renovation needs to take place in our inner realm. This is due to the ever-changing landscape of our belief system, how we believe in ourselves, what we believe is actually possible for us. So there's a little bit of a restructuring to our emotional realm on where it is that, yeah, okay, it's good to dream a big dream. It's good to be excited, good to be inspired. But if we don't actually put ourselves to work in examining the parts of us that are holding on to fear, doubts, and insecurities, preventing us from catapulting in a new path and direction, then we're probably not going to go anywhere as fast. So this takes place at 8.12 a.m. 
3.06 p.m., so quite a bit of time there, uh, the moon is going to make a positive interaction with Uranus. So this tells me that we sit in the funk. We sit in this negative narrative. We sit in the, oh, this is impossible. Oh, we're never going to get there. Oh, nothing's ever going to change. We sit in that for quite some time. And then the moon interacting with Uranus in this way, this is this sudden shift. This is like an epiphany, a light bulb moment goes off and we're like, you know what? We're just done with negative Nancy and Betty the bully. We're just going to rise up and, and rise above these particular fears, doubts, and insecurities of our egoic programming. And we're just going to let our heart kind of lead us into this new path, into this new direction. This is a shock to the nervous system. This is when, again, we have the ability to gain insight, when we gain a little bit of inspiration and excitement for the things to come. And we're actually feeling well-equipped and well-prepared to do what it takes in order to actually make those major changes in our physical realm. The moon in Leo energy, then going to come up to bump into team up with Mercury already in this Leo energy. This is a conjunction. This is a reset. This is just as much an ending as it is a beginning. And because the moon is our heart space and Mercury is our head space, we're on the same page. We're gaining momentum. We're gaining insight. We're gaining confidence. We're gaining clarity. We're gaining courage to do the things that we know that we have to do. And so again, we kind of pull ourselves out of that negative narrative. We pull ourselves out of those vulnerable thoughts and feelings. We're starting to gain confidence. We're gaining perspective. We're gaining momentum towards something new. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy. So this to me just screams that we are basically running away with the options and opportunities that we have available to us at this present moment to grow, to heal, to change, to transform. Jupiter is like the hype girl. And when he's being aspected in a positive way, we are feeling all of the good feels. The moon in this Leo energy has us kind of like the lion, king of the jungle, roaring to remind these MFers in the jungle who was boss. We are feeling like we can accomplish anything, like we can change, like we can transform. This is some very potent, very good energy that we are riding high off of for the rest of the day. The last aspect that we have here today is the moon trining beautiful interaction with that north node in Aries energy. That north node is getting us on the right path, showing us where it is that we can grow, where it is that we can improve, where it is that we can get started on this new chapter, in this new path, in this new direction. A trine suggests that we are dealing with like elements. The Leo energy being a fixed fire sign, the Aries energy being a cardinal fire sign, the fire energy dries us up, dries us off of all of that emotion that we've been sitting in, puts us in a totally different situation, circumstance, scenario in our inner realm to actually realize what it is that we want to do, what we want to pursue. We're excited about it. We have a warrior type of spirit about it. We are acting actively sorting through the inner realm of our thoughts, of our feelings in order to actually align with the new options and opportunities that are now looking super favorable now that we are looking at it from a fresh set of eyes.